Okay, this is another installment of the buildings videos that I'm making. Uh, we're going to focus on this video, the barrack. Alright, so the barrack is pretty simple. It's where you train your troops. Now, um, in order to unlock troops, so we now have the mercenary troops, uh, you need to do so by going to your research and unlocking them, completing the research to get to them. Now, when you're training your troops, you go to either the cowboy tab or the mercenary tab, and you click on whatever troop you want to train. Currently, right now, you can see I am training a group of shock riders. And so if I were to train more troops at the same time, I could do so by spending gold. So if I wanted to train these bronze cannons, I would need uh, to do 6,000 of them. I would need to uh, have 1.1 million in food in order to do that. Then I could instant train it with gold. Uh, but I don't want to uh, do that right now. So I am going to continue showing you the different things that you can do uh, in this particular part of the barrack. Now, when you click on a certain type of troop, you can look at the stats underneath them. Uh, so I currently have the bronze cannon highlighted. And so it tells you what type of troop it is. It's artillery and it's strong versus defense. And then it's weak versus infantry range and cavalry. So you're going to hear a lot from a lot of people that cannons are worthless. Um, but you can use cannons to gather. They actually gather faster with cannons. And you can use, you can gather more with less cannon troops, if that makes sense. Now, if you click on the stats button, it'll tell you uh, the different attributes that they have and the bonuses you can get um, when you have them. So for troop attacks, troop defense, troop life, march speed, upkeep saving, um, troop load, and the troop info, this tells me how much I have of these and how much force I get from one single troop. So if you wonder how much force you're getting when you're training your troops, this shows you exactly how much you have all in one thing. You can go to the town center, but this is more detailed than the information you get in the town center. And it also tells you how much it costs uh, to keep them, the upkeep and the troop load and um, how much it um, collects the highest resources type. This is also another section where you can dismiss troops. So say I don't want these troops anymore. I can... I can highlight all of them and dismiss all of them at once. Or say if I just wanted to do a few, I could scroll the bar down and just dismiss that many. Or I can actually click in the number box and select how many I want to dismiss. And I can click dismiss. You can also do this in the town center tab. Um, when you go to the, the breakdown and go to the troops, you can dismiss there as well. Uh, but I'm not going to do any of that. So if you are looking at all of the cowboy troops and say, I don't want to have T1s anymore. I don't want, I was creating a, a meat shield, but you know what? Say I don't want them anymore. I can go to the stats. I can just scroll that button over, dismiss all 46,000. Granted, when you dismiss troops, scroll down here, I'm going to dismiss... Uh, all of the uh, force that I would get from that. So I would dismiss about, I would say, a, a little over 90,000 in force that I would just dis, dis get rid of if I got rid of those troops. Now, under the barrack tag, you also have the mercenaries, and you unlock these by doing research on your uh, mercenary town side. And say if I wanted to train them... I can 
do um, instant train with gold or I can train them, but I have to have one free uh, train queue available in order to do that. Now, when you want to train multiple uh, groups of troops at the same time, you can purchase a gold pack and those gold packs will give you the second train queue and that will allow you to do two sets at the same time. And it doesn't matter if you want to do cowboy and mercenary troops at the same time. You can do both at the same time, one of each if you would like, or you could do two of mercenary, two of cowboy. If you want to grow troops faster, then that's what you do. But you'll notice here the max that I can have on the mercenary side that I can train is only 4,500. And the reason why that is is because I haven't done the research to be able to train them more. I haven't unlocked T3s on the mercenary side. I haven't unlocked T4s on the mercenary side. You do all of that in your research, all right? So let's go back one and let's look at this I button. As you all know, I, I love the information. Now this shows all of the different bonuses that you can get from each of these. Now the troop training speed that I currently have is uh, at the top, the mercenary training speed, the mercenary capacity, the cowboy capacity. Now. As you go up in level, it tells you the uh, the level of your barrack. It tells you the level um, or how much your capacity is going to be. So as you continue here, uh, this shows you I'm on level 21 for the barrack. So that means I can train 6,000. Now, if you noticed, I only have one barrack in my entire town. The reason being is I don't care how fast I grow. This is me. But if I had three barracks, it would take three times as long to actually have those troops available to use. All right. I hope that made sense. Um, so that's why I only have one barrack. I'm going to be using the same amount of time. My troops will be available faster with just the one barrack. If you have three different barracks, but they're all at different levels, then you just look at the level. So say if I had one at 21, one at 20, one at 19, that means I would only be training. And it calculates all of that together when you slide that bar over to train to the full capacity. So that's 6,000, that's 12, that's 13,200. Uh, uh, troops that I could train all at once if I had one 19, 20, and 21 level barrack. So when you do that max slide over, it calculates how many troops you can train with all three barracks combined. So just keep that in mind whenever you're doing it. That's why I only have one barrack because I free up space to then have cabins because the cabins will then give me the capability of training faster all right um, I know it can get confusing and whatnot uh, but when you go back and uh, you look at the requirements and what upgrade rewards you will have when you upgrade the barrack um, your force will go up uh, however uh, many uh, you have for the actual barrack um, the training capacity also then goes up and then you get sheriff experience. Uh, so that is the barrack and that is kind of the rundown of how uh, all of that works and my thoughts on only having one barrack in your town. Uh, it's nice to free up space for cabins. It's nice to free up space for hospitals uh, because if you're fighting, you want a lot of hospitals. But uh, I like having the cabins because it gives me that troop training speed that is uh, definitely something that I need. Um, so um, that 
that's the barracks. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Leave your questions in the comments. Uh, thanks again for all of your support and for watching. I really appreciate all the people who've reached out to me. Feel free, guys, to reach out to me. Tell me how you are liking the game. Tell me how you're doing. I am happy to answer questions. I've made quite a few friends just from uh, making these videos. So I hope they're helping you as much as you guys are helping me. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day and stay positive. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.